Here, let's go check out this chest right behind me. There are some TNT, but these TNTs are actually different from the normal TNT in Minecraft. We got puppy TNT. Mm, let's see what this does. Oh boy. Puppies! Oh, let's try another one. Ooh, diamond TNT. All right, this is what diamond TNT does. Oh, wow. That's a lot of diamonds. That was pretty cool, but what's what's this? TNT and TNT and TNT. What? What does this TNT do? Hmm. Oh! What is this? Oh my god! Pause. This is Minecraft, but there are custom TNT. In this video, I've added some new TNT that will make the game 10,000 times more chaotic. And spoiler alert, there will be a lot of explosions. Will I be able to beat the game while simultaneously blowing up the world? Watch to find out. Also, be sure to check if you're subscribed and also like the video because according to YouTube statistics, you most likely aren't. Enjoy the video and I hope you have a great day. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Here we go. All right. The first thing that we need to get is obviously uh, just a bunch of TNT, really. I mean, what else is the point of this video? Anyways, now I've added some custom crafts. Obviously, you, you may be knowing that there's just some weird TNT. Please tell me you looked at the intro. Anyways, we need stone tools. So we're going to go and make this, this, this. There's actually a way for us to go and make TNT very, 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 very easily. And the reason why it's easy is because I added a custom craft. And the main thing that we're going to have to use in order for us to go and make these custom crafts is coal. It's actually right behind me. So we're going to go and get a bunch of coal right here. And then we're going to get eight sand right here. These are two very, very accessible resources, by the way, which is going to allow us to make so much of this TNT. And then we just do this. Oh. That is gunpowder. 99.9% .9 of you probably know, but you need gunpowder for TNT. And we're going to use this to make a lot of TNT today. Let's do a coal moment, shall we? Oh, hello, Fortune 2. There's just three chests right here. And literally the first one I checked, Fortune 2. Since we have Fortune 2, we should probably get like a diamond pickaxe or something and just have a dedicated pickaxe for us to use with Fortune 2. And then just mine all of the coal in order for us to get a lot of coal, which means that we get a lot of gunpowder, which means we get a lot of TNT and we're going to just blow up the world. I think it's time for us to go mine down then. Wait, there's diamonds. <laughs> I mine like three blocks down and there's literally diamonds here, dude. Let's mine this. One, two, and is there more? No, there's no more. Thanks, Kim. Watch, there's gonna be diamonds under here. All right. <gasps> oh my God, what? What? I can't believe that actually worked. All right, first things first, diamond pickaxe, boom. And then we're gonna go and make an anvil with our 31 iron ingots and do this. And then that, boom, anvil. And then we're just gonna combine our diamond pickaxe with our fortune two to make a fortune two diamond bin pickaxe there you go now we're gonna go and get a lot of coal and this is gonna be awesome let's do coal moment v2 what there's more diamonds oh fortune two plus diamonds yes oh we're getting a lot more diamonds this is nice we have 12 diamonds now oh boy i should probably go up to the surface i mean we have a lot of coal and all that you know let's go up all right, we're on the surface and uh, we have almost like three stacks of coal. And now that we have a lot of coal, we should probably get a lot of sand. Yeah, there's a bunch of sand everywhere. It's under uh, water. We could get some at the shore as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll take some of this sand, sand, sand. All right, we got four things of sand and a little bit more. This is going to make us a lot of TNT. This is going to be nice. We are going to go and just do this. Wrap it around. Boom, gunpowder. We could go and make our first TNT. Let's make it in this five configuration. Do that. We have one TNT. Yes. There's 10 different custom TNTs in this game, by the way. We're going to go and make our first one. We are going to go and make the pickaxe TNT. The way for us to go and make a pickaxe TNT is by getting eight pickaxes surrounded by one TNT. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to just go and make a bunch of pickaxes right here. Hold on. I wonder if this is going to work. Oh, uh, we have just a bit of stone pickaxes and some other types of pickaxes. Any type of pickaxe works to make pickaxe TNT. Destroys everything in a 20 blocks radius. We're going to go make this. Let's go down to this ravine real quick. I just want to go deep into like the caves or whatever. I want to go down because I want to mine diamonds when we're going to use this pickaxe TNT. Since it's going to mine a lot of blocks around the vicinity, we should do this. So now we're going to be going deep into this cave and we're just going to place a pickaxe TNT right here. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 God. Ooh. Yes. 
There's diamonds everywhere, dude. Yes. The plan was a massive success. We could get all different types of ores. We could get like iron, gold, everything that's just spawning around under here. We could use all of these resources now for us to go and make more of these pickaxe TNTs in order for us to go and get more diamonds and iron and coal and just literally everything that this underground place has to offer. This is really nice. Let's go back to the surface now. I want to go back. Now, we have 23 diamonds, and we could use these diamonds to make a different type of TNT. We can make diamond TNT. Let's do this. Now, we're going to have to need a little bit more gunpowder. So, we're just going to do this. Boom. We got 11 gunpowder. That's enough to make us one TNT. Boom, TNT. And we're just going to take these diamonds and surround it with that TNT to make diamond TNT. Scatters diamonds all around. Let's try this. All right, I'm going to run right here to place the diamond TNT. And we run. Go, go, go again. Go, go, go. And then it's going to blow up to make a bunch of TNT stuffs all over. Holy crap, dude. We got diamond chest plate, diamond leggings, pickaxes, blocks, stacks, dude. Oh! Yeah, that's a lot of diamonds. It's safe to say that we could get a uh, full diamond from this. This is really good. Yeah, we could. Oh, we have one of the most important tools in the world, a diamond hoe. This is when you know this is a very good piece of TNT. We have two and a half stacks of diamonds now. <laughs> I'm gonna go and just make this diamond helmet. Boom. In just two TNT, we have full diamond. Nice. I also see some, uh, some sand over to this like mountain thing i should probably place like a pickaxe tnt there so we could get a lot more sand to make a lot more tnt let's do that new pickaxe tnt there you go okay i think this is a good spot to place it in so i'm gonna place it right here go 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 run 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 i don't want to be mined from tnt today oh Ooh, what oh boy that's a lot more tnt explosion than i expected let's go and just like make all of the sand now now that we have so much sand we're just gonna go and make literally a stack of gunpowder we could use all the coal this pickaxe tnt is very overpowered because we could get sand easily and now we could get coal easily without mining anything this is perfect for us oh should we get more i kind of want to go for round two now we're gonna go right here and i'm just gonna place it five four three two one go 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 run 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 oh Ta-da! That worked nicely. Now let's go take it. Let's go make even more. Here we go. More gunpowder, please. Thank you, game. Boom! We have four stacks of gunpowder. That is amazing. Now we could go and take even more sand, I guess, because I literally use up so much sand just to make this gunpowder. But you know what? At least we have more pickaxe TNTs to make. So we're gonna do that. I want more sand. Boom. More sand, please. Oh, I gotta run. Oh! Nice. Let's go take more. All right, let's go and make 51 TNT. Wait, we can make even more. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Holy crap. That is basically a stack of TNT. We have one stack of TNT, and we have a lot of opportunities to blow up this world even more. This is awesome. Oh, I have an idea. Now that we have a stack of TNT, we could go and make the third custom TNT. And we're going to have to be using a lot of lapis right here. We're going to surround the TNT with lapis to make enchanting TNT. This TNT will enchant your inventory. So as you can see, I'm literally unenchanted. My full set of armor is not enchanted at all. Only my uh, fortune two diamond pickaxe. But my tools are also unenchanted as well. I'm going to go and just place this enchanting TNT eh, right about like right here. I'm not going to run away this time because... If we get blown up by the CT, we literally get enchanted. Holy crap. Okay. We have a... Uh... Oh, okay. Thorns four on a diamond chest plate. <laughs> Brought four on leggings. We got silk touch three on an axe. We've upgraded the fortune four on our diamond pickaxe with efficiency two. Oh God. Efficiency four diamond shovel. And our flint and steel has been breaking four. We could go and actually uh, get even more enchantments by making more of these enchanting TNTs. Let's do that. Yeah make a few here i want to just blow myself up like five times over so we could get so many enchantments let's do number one Bam! that's <laughs> that's one holy crap all right we're at silk touch five and fortune okay, okay. we're at what we're, well, we're, okay we're at fortune something i don't even know what that roman numeral is let's keep going oh that's more bang we have oh a fortune 11 also, that is just the coal block. I don't think we could use our fortune, unfortunately. But at least we could go and, like, mine things quickly, at the very least. Oh, I have so much frost walker. There's so much. I'm gonna make this whole lake just straight up ice. I have just the ability to do so. This is so weird. Oh my gosh. I want to do another custom TNT since we have a lot more to go. I want to show you this type of TNT. This type of TNT is literally the weirdest type of TNT. A TNT grid to make 
NT, 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 explodes in a 50 block radius. All right, this is probably one of the most terrifying TNTs that I'm holding right now. This TNT right here is terrifying. All right, this is a bomb. All right, it's not even TNT anymore. It's not dynamite. It is a bomb, dude. I'm gonna run kind of far away from a uh, little area that we have right here. I'm gonna place this TNT right here. And I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Oh! God! Holy crap! This is 50 blocks, man! Go, go, go! It's, it's still growing! Oh. Okay. I think it's it's done. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap. That was the experience of the TNT and TNT and TNT. It exposed a literal mineshaft. And I'm pretty sure it just blew up the whole entire mineshaft. There's just small essence of minecarts from the mineshaft that are just laying at the bottom. That is a terrifying TNT. We might use this for the Ender Dragon later, but we'll see. Now for the next TNT, I need to go and smelt sand this time. Now we've obtained a lot of sand, but we need to smelt sand now for us to get glass. If you get glass, we could go and make water bottles. We need water bottles for this type of TNT. <laughs> All right, we have a bunch of glass here. We're going to go and use the glass now to go and make glass bottles. Boom. All right, this is the next big thing. We're going to go... Oh, thanks, Frostwalker. I need some water, Frostwalker. Oh, oh, thank you. Anyways, we're going to go and like uh, get a bunch of water bottles right here by just doing this. Yup. Oh, that is a lot of water bottles. Since we have over eight water bottles, we could go and make another custom TNT. We're going to go and place TNT right here. And we're just going to go and make potion TNT. Scatters effects on the floor. You'll see what this means. All right, here we go. I'm I'm gonna place it right about here. Potion TNT. What it do though? Oh! That is a lot of effects. I have so many effects right now. I am filled with potion effects. I have speed and strength and like weakness and fires at the same time. Oh my God. There's so many things happening. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. I think this is all of like the nicer TNTs that we, we've gone so far and done. There's other TNTs for us to do, by the way. But in order for us to use these TNTs and craft them and make them and, and have a nice time with these TNTs, we're going to have to go to the nether in order for us to get these TNTs. All right. So we're going to have to find a portal or make one. Before we enter the nether, we should probably go and make a bunch of pickaxe tnts because i want to go and mine a specific ore in the nether in order for us to uh you know obtain it aka uh netherite we need netherite so we can make netherite tnt that's the plan that's the plan for today all right we just need yeah we'll just get 10 all right we're good all right it's time for us to go straight down obviously this is kind of breaking a rule for minecraft but i don't care i have full diamond and multiple enchantments we are okay i just need lava lava where are you oh Hey, lava. All right, let's go place this right here to break that. And then we have this exposed. We're going to make this little contraption formation thingy. We are going to go and make our portal just like so. Boom. We're going. It's time to enter the nether. Oh, hello. Anyone around? Now we're going to go and get netherite. We need nether debris. And for us to go and get that nether debris, we're going to have to go down like 50 blocks because that's where it spawns around. Okay, I'm going to go and make like a whole entire line right here. There you go. Now that we have like a line, we could go and place the pickaxe TNT. So we have a safe way to escape from this, you know? All right, I'm going to place it right here. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Leave. Oh, Ooh. oh my. Oh my goodness. There's just a whole bunch of stuff here, huh? Any nether debris? Oh, oh, out of this whole entire pile. I see some right here. Wait, yes. Oh, we got two out of this whole thing. Maybe it's like hiding somewhere else. Maybe there's more. We only have four ancient debris out of this whole entire thing. This is when you know it's really difficult to get some. Holy crap. We're going to blast some more. All right, we're going to do a pickaxe TNT moment. Let's go. All right, we're going. Number two. Oh, yes. I see some right there. Let's keep going. Let's get more ancient debris. We need 32 ancient debris in total in order for us to get this special TNT. Okay. And if we get this special netherite TNT, it's going to help us so much. Let's go this way. Oh, anything? Oh, I see some right there. Yonk. I see some right here as well. 10. Oh, my. Oh, 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 oh right there. Take it. I got it. I got it. Right, 18. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's keep going. Bang. Yonk. 19. Ugh. Boom. I see some right there. Yonk. 22. Oh, I see some. Yes. 25. 27. We're almost there. We need five more. I've used up all of the pickaxe TNT, and now we just need to find the ancient debris just naturally somewhere out there. Come on. Oh, yes. I'm going to mine this way now. Yes! We need two more. Yes! 
Okay, we need one more. We just need one more. Yes! Oh my god, that's the final one. There you go. We have 33 ancient debris. Beautiful. Now I could leave this debris place, man. My diamond pickaxe with unbreaking 16. It literally is over half gone. Oh my gosh. Now, although we got our day ancient debris and we could leave, I still want to get one thing, all right? I want to get bones. I want to go to the bone zone and I want to get bones from the skeletons because I need eight bones for a particular custom TNT that I want. So we're going to try to find one. Let's go to bone world. Oh, is that so sad? Yes! It's here! We found the Soul Sand Valley, aka the Bone Zone. Let's find bones, aka skeletons. I need the bones. I need eight bones. I'm not going for the bone blocks today, but I am going for the skeletons. So, oh, thank you, thorns. All right, we got our bones now. We can leave. We have more than eight bones. It's time to go back to the overworld. Here we go. Oh, there's our portal. I see it. Yes. All right, it's time to leave. Oh, we made it. We got the things that we needed. Whoo! Yes! Success! Absolute success! All right, let's go back to our chest and let's go and make the custom TNTs. Oh. And we are back to our chest. That was a nice experience. We got 33 ancient debris and 11 bones. And we're going to use these items in order for us to uh, get some uh, custom TNT. Let's do it. Well, first things first is that we actually have to smelt the ancient debris. So we're going to be doing that. All right, let's go put all of the debris into these fern eye right here. So it could turn it into scraplings just like that. There you go. And while this smelts, we're actually going to go and make the bone TNT thing that we have here. We're going to use our bones to make this puppy TNT spawns 20 to 30 baby wolves. Oh, this is a nice one. Let's go right about here and place. Puppy TNT. Hey, puppy TNT. I cannot tell if I'm a father now or a mother, but we have puppies, I guess. We could have this little like puppy hole for ourselves for later until they grow up to be like cool puppy lads. And then we could go and tame them. I'm going to name them all Joe. Let's go and take the scraplings now. Now that they're all like furnished up. And now we have 33 netherite scraps. Could use this to go and make this. We need gold. I just realized we need a lot of gold. Oops. I think we have that too. Hey, let's mount that. Okay, now that the gold has been smelted into gold ingots, we could do this. Boom, netherite ingots. Now that we have netherite ingots, we make eight of them right there. Now we could go and make our netherite TNT. All right, here we go. This is going to be one of the more OP TNTs. And I hope all of this effort is worth it. All right, so I'm going to place the netherite TNT right here. All right, here we go. Here it comes. And... Oh! Oh, oh, yes. Now, not only there's netherite all over, but it's also enchanted. It's uh fully enchanted. Oh my gosh. We have all types of netherite, really. This is amazing. Oh, and the netherite hose. Yes, it's exactly what we need. The enchantments are overpowered, but we could definitely add more enchantments to it. We're going to combine this using the enchanting TNT so we could go and upgrade it. I'm going to go and actually just, nah, just remove all that. I don't need it anymore. Boom. We have seven enchanting TNTs. I used all the lapis that we have. Let's go and enchant seven times. Oh, okay. That was seven enchanting TNT. This is what we have. Oh my gosh. Our mending and unbreaking is at like level 54. And yep, yep, yep. That is definitely upgraded. It's all good. Oh my God, our flint and steel is overpowered. But what's nice is that our hose are also overpowered as well. Hey, looking good. I think I'm pretty much unstoppable at this point. Let's go up. Yeah, I think we're ready to go and kill the dragon. I mean, we're literally just full netherite from just straight up blowing ourselves up with TNT. Very cool TNT, by the way. We're really shined up and ready to go, man. And I think it's time for us to go back into the nether so we could go and make eyes of end from the ender pearls from the piglins and also the blaze rods but before that i want to show you an interesting tnt type that i have not showed you just yet but i will now the golden tnt this gives you 20 to 100 hearts of absorption check this out look at my health there's so much absorption oh yeah and we're gonna use just a bit of that golden tnt when you go and fight the ender dragon do we need it of course not we have blast protection 13 and mending 9 i think but still we're, we're gonna have it because it's part of the aesthetic you know the topple aesthetic of just being completely overpowered for no reason let's make a few of these five why not here we go it's time to re-enter the nether let's do this here we go here we go All right, let's find the bastion in the fortress this time. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, the fortress here. Oh, the fortress. Thank you, game. Thank you. Okay, I want to go get something from this fortress. Yes. Let's get the blaze rods from the fortress. Here we go. Oh, I hear them around. Hello, blaze rods. Yes, one blaze rod. Ten. 
again. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. We're good to go. Okay, we just need one Bastion. I wanna see the Bastion now. Come on. Come on, game. Oh, wait. There's a Bastion right there. Perfect. Okay. I don't have any way for me to actually, like, take out and wear gold armor because I literally have Curse of Binding on all of these. So that's okay. We don't need to worry about it. All we need is the gold and just not interact with any of the piglins until after. All right. Now we're going to go all the way over here. I'm going to place this so they're not going to go through. And I'm going to go and get a lot of gold from this Bastion now. We are going to use this gold to trade with the piglins in order for us to go and get a lot of Ender Pearls. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. There's one. Yeah, there you go. Come here. Hello. Everyone trade for pearls, please. Everyone trade for pearls. Oh, thank you for the pearls. Oh my god, we got a stack of pearls. Yes! Keep going with the pearls, guys. Even more pearls. Beautiful. I only have 22 pearls. All right, that's fine. That's enough. Thank you, guys. I will see you later, okay? Bye! All right, I'm just gonna go teleport now. I'm gonna get out of here now. It's time to leave. Here we go. Goodbye, Nether. Thank you for your service. See you later. Here we go. Oh my. Desert. Oh, we're 5,000 blocks away. All right. Now that we have our 10 blaze rods, I'm going to turn this into powder and we are going to enter the stronghold. Let's get to it now. Let's do this. Oh my God. It's going backwards. Nice. It has to be this one right here. Oh, it is. We found it. We are at the stronghold chunk. Let's enter this. Here we go. And we're in. Beautiful. Let's go and find this portal. Let's do this. I can't find the end portal at all. You know what? I'm going to just blow it up. Screw this place, man. I'm going to make TNT and TNT and TNT and TNT again. I don't care. Boom. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. As far as I can. As far as I can. Oh! Ooh! Oh, my God. It's going so far. Ah! Oh. Is it done? Oh, my God. Oh. My god, it actually worked. No way. We blew up the stronghold in its entirety. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go to that portal. Now, I do have a stack of arrows and I have yet to make a bow. I'm actually going to go and make a bow right now. Boom. A bow. Now, I'm also going to go and get some lapis from the ground right here. Let's get some lapis real quick because I kind of forgot some on the other trip. Then we're going to go and make this. We have enchanting TNT. I'm actually going to go and uh, remove all of my tools from my inventory because I don't want to interfere with my bow. This would allow me to get as many enchantments as I can. Let me enchant this bow. Come on. Give me a bunch of power. Let's do this. Yes. Flame five punch one. What? I'm okay with this, honestly. That is a funny bow. The final TNT that we're gonna go and make is just this. The TNT and TNT and TNT. We're gonna use this on the dragon, all right? And hopefully it'll kill it. Here we go. It's finally time for us to go to the end portal. Here, let's add this in. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. It's all or nothing. Here we go. It's time to kill that dragon. Let's go and get cage one. There you go. Cage one done. That's cage two. Let's get the rest. Here we go. There you go. There's more. Yes. That's all of them, I think. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to set it up. I'm going to set it up. Oh, wait, there's one more. I got it. I'm going to use this TNT and TNT and TNT on the dragon. Oh, it's purging. I'm going to place it. All right, there it goes. Oh, God, here it comes. Oh, oh my God. Is the dragon still alive? It's still alive. What the heck? We're going to have to shoot it. It only broke the blocks, but it didn't kill the dragon. How are you still alive from that? Oh, my God. It's going down again. We're here. Okay. Oh my god! So much damage! Yes! Come on, dragon! We're halfway! It's purging! Slam! Okay, here it comes. Oh! Oh my god! And almost! We're gonna use our hoe, baby. Here it comes! It's going down! Is this the final perch? Please! This has to be it! Oh! What? Oh my god! What is this ending? That was a weird ending. Yes! Let's go! That was pretty good. I guess we go and get the egg now. With our uh, netherite hoe, of course. Oh, God. There you go. And we also go and break this to get the egg. We got the egg now. And we hop into the portal. There you go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!